24 to 7 in last consolation. We will see who takes the lead in this series between these two teams. Loggerheads in the green. As they make their way out, the loonies in those white kits here tonight. So we'll end up playing 11 matches here this weekend. The one, the third place game on the women's side. Wiped out and for the loggerheads right at the top. Patrick Madden's been good both weekends. Anybody else that really has grabbed your eyes here this weekend? I mean, look, all the eyes got to be on Derek Adams, especially after that hat trick performance last game. And of course, Matai Leuta is such a physical presence. Those guys are the ones to watch. On the other side, who, who are you keeping your eyes on? Who should the fans keep their eyes on? I think a Throughout today, you've had really good performances from Marcus Tupola, of course, the captain, and Manate Akwe, Akwe, excuse me, he played, he represented Kenya 7s first in 2017 and then Kenya 15s in 2019. He's been a star for them. All right, so the stage is set. Madden will boot it away here to begin the match. Experts and the headliners will meet in the final. This, the Third place game here in series stop number two, the PR sevens underway and the loonies with possession. High tackle. Let go. High tackle. The verdict there. Referee, the third member of our crew basically wearing the wireless mic. Great dummy there from Coy, who's been really good here in the last two weekends. So too is this guy with the ball. Gets it into the hands there of Akwe. Stripped, stripped by Green, play on. Backwards. Stripped and then booted and right into the hands of Madden. Now, here goes Adams. Adams trying to get outside. Good job to knock it free. And that will be a knock on bat ball back to the Looney. It's a little bit disappointing to see that play from both sides. First, Looney's just playing very messily, trying to kick the ball on the deck. And of course, Loggerhead just easy to scoop that up. But then in turn, the same thing. I think there was another pass that could have gone on the outside, but instead decided to take it into contact. Maybe Adams was seeing the try line again and just turned back over. They just Fine. need to clean it back up. Perhaps the delay kind of messed up their rhythm, but we'll see what Set. the Looney's can do here. They've got the scrum here. In and quickly out. Inside ball there. Release him! Advantage offside. There you hear the word advantage offside being played. Sager. He's dropped. Advantage is over now. So the advantage off. Now Coy got a great step. Coy gets through there. There it is, right on cue. And Coy's going to take it in for the first try in this one. Right between the sticks, it's 5 nothing. And good on Coy to just take a second step back. Sometimes you don't always have to go gas on, all gas on the pedal here. You see them take a moment. Coy spots the gap. The Loggerheads defense just looking a little bit too fragmented. And then Coy steps on the gas all the way. He's able to break through and dot it down right center sticks. He's got all seven. He made the conversion. Look at this angle. Beautiful camera work. Great camera work. And again, just taking it and sitting back because the Loggerheads defense looked a little bit confused. I think someone uh, who was counter rucking earlier maybe thought he had a different call. And so anytime you're, one of your teammates in the defense decides to sit back and make a little mistake for whatever reason, that's when you want to capitalize. And that's exactly what the Loonies just did. I really like this young player. He's 19. I mean, he was impressive last week. And he's found the try zone here this weekend. Not just there, but he's found it another time as well. He's been really good as Adams gets under this one right at the 22. Bree mentioned he had a hat trick earlier. He was very effective last week in San Jose as well for the loggerheads. Now they've got it. Trying to burst through there. Coy trying to track him down, and he does. Can play it on both sides of the ball. Loggerheads to it. Good offload there. Can they do anything with it? No, they mishandle it. Knocked on. Here's Coy again, little hop step there. Got free on one tackle. Great offload from Coy there. And the Loonies penetrating loggerhead territory again. Sager plays it on the near side. They got something here. Oh, they mishandle it. And it's going to go over to the loggerheads. Look, the loggerheads just got lucky there. That should have been an easy ball to hands. But of course, very slick conditions. Just had a ton of rain mm -hmm. here at Audi Field. But 
Loggerheads defense need to figure out some way to connect better to each other. They finally had a, a full line of seven in that last phase, but before that, they were all over the place. And so, look, the loonies are continuing to probe and create chaos, which is exactly what they want to do. But the loggerheads has to be a little bit more, they need to be more patient with themselves, be more composed. And we see the first and white, sub, and, and hopefully they'll be able to make an impact right from the get-go. So Patrick Madden comes out for the loggerheads. Owen Bromball wearing number 14 oh, yeah. all right, all right. has checked in. Time's back on. Looney's with two turnovers, loggerheads with one to this point of the match. You imagine they want to use Fine. threat. Matai Leuta there in the center. If they get clean ball off the scrum, use Leuta to get a really physical presence and make the game line, but turnover in and the straight scrum. Out the tunnel. But straight out the tunnel. Referee Lopez says, yep. let's take it back. Ball comes right back out, which means they will just reset the scrum. Cisco Lopez, the lead referee. Good look at Adams. Four tries today. Had one last weekend. Coach. Lopez gets him set. Bind. Set. Gallagher puts it in. Standing up. Quick whistle. Go Lopez. There. Tap and go from Gallagher. Coming up on the final two here in this first half, seven minutes. It goes in a hurry. Loggerheads pop one up near side, chase for it. It's in play. Did they keep it? He didn't. Adams tried, but he just could not keep it in the playing surface before he touched the white line. Yeah, I'm not sure why he tried to reach down with his hand there. He would have had to use his foot at the moment. Look, sometimes those kicks work really well. We've seen it throughout the day. But if you end up losing it into touch, that is a completely lost opportunity. Sometimes you even want to stay back in your own half. But as long as you have possession, you're OK. Be patient. Let a couple more phases unfold. But for the loggerheads, they just lost the ball, and it's a turnover to the loonies. They've got it. Looney's lead it here inside of 90 seconds to play in the half. 7-0. Whereas Wiki started it there from the rock, got it free. He's there for support. Tackle! You hear those words, you got to release, or it's a penalty. Now the Looney's trying to work the near touch line, but he is into touch, and it'll go over to the loggerheads. Again, if you're any sevens coach, getting tackled out of bounds is always a killer. You never want to see that. If you're playing out on the wing, you have to know. And look, I think there was speed to burn here, but just too much of a gamble. Again, possession is everything in sevens. Not so much territory like in 15s. And here we see what Leuta could do with this ball. He's got it. Still with it. Little look off there. He's still on the move. Plays it back. Tackle broken, great offload, back outside to him. He gets there and gets it down. What a sequence there. And the loggerheads are within two. What a fantastic set of hands back there between those three, Leuta, Bromball, and Gray. Here we see Gray just doing all the work, and Bromball knows he's got someone on him, sees Leuta with that space on the outside. Fantastic little set of hands between those three, and that try is well-deserved for the loggerheads. Try stopping this, huh? Again, Leuta has just been a standout yeah. all day. You know, we expected this, U.S. Eagle and just really making a presence. He was on the seven series for the U.S. from 2014 to 2021. And now he's taking a break and, and playing some domestic rugby, which mm -hmm. I think he's enjoying right now. 32 years young. It's like he's 22, the way he plays, the way he's built. So his first of the series, and it's a 7-5 halftime lead in favor of the Loonies. Quick two-minute timeout. Second half will come your way right after this short but important timeout. 7-5 loonies. That is Derek Adams, a very valuable piece for Kim and this loggerhead team, trying to loosen him up a little bit, it looks like there. Yeah, ATC Catherine Henney trying to do some work on him. Looks like he might be a little bit tight there in the neck and the shoulders as rugby is so brutal on your body, but it is addicting. That's why we play it. That's why we're here commentating on this sport, Ben, as the Loonies kick us off and get underway. That is Bree Kim. My name is Ben Holden. Dean Walker's our producer, all of our hardworking crew here. 
third place game. The men's final comes up after this one. The experts and the headliners and the women's final will cap the night at 925. What'd you take away from half number one? Yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty even. I mean, we saw mistakes from both sides, maybe feeling a little bit frantic, maybe, you know, trying to find their rhythm from earlier in the day after a bit of a weather delay. But look, again, the strong standouts that we've seen all day from players like Leuta and Koi has been outstanding this game so far. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neck and neck for me, Ben. And so I okay. think for this game, it's really just making, you know, whoever makes the least amount of errors is going to come away victorious. Good stuff. Looney's here. They have it. They're in the white kits. Seven different players have scored a try for this loggerheads group. Some speed here. You told me about that young man earlier. Great offload into the hands of Coy. And he slips by the would-be tackler and dives home. Coy with his second try of the match. 30-meter run. What a play on the outside there by DeMonte Noble to set it up, Bree. DeMonte Noble, usually he's the one that is finishing those tries. Take a look here, quick little step, makes Leo to pause and makes the other loggerheads logger defender think that he has to bite in, sets up Koi perfectly. He still has to beat a defender, but the work was a lot easier for him. He dots it down, well done. Again, like you said, Ben, set up by US 7's player, DeMonte Noble. So Koi, has all 12 of the Looney's points. The conversion for two, no good. Big conversion there would have made it a nine point lead. Now you're within a try and a conversion to tie this thing up. And look, still plenty of time. Almost mm -hmm. five minutes left. It's only one it's converted. An eternity, try right? Separation. It is an absolute eternity. <laughs> You know, when you're sitting in the fans, you think 14 minutes is nothing. And often when you're up here in the booth, it's like a blink of an eye. Right. When you're a player and you've been sprinting back and forth, hitting the deck, getting back up, you're like, when is this game going to end? Referee tonight for this one, Cisco Lopez there getting him set, showing him where he wants him to be here for this line out for the loonies coming up. You can come in. You can come in, Green. You can come in, Green. You can come in. Oh, yeah. It's one of the many things, Bree, you know, we've worked yeah. together elsewhere. I love about this sport, the respect on both sides, players, officials, it's fantastic. You don't see it in any other sport like this. Yeah, there's really an unspoken kind of respect throughout the world when it comes to rugby, understanding that even though you are essentially beating each other up on the pitch, yep. you know, as soon as that final whistle blows, it's all respect. Noble spins it to the back. Breaking free, breaking through, and the Looney's going to take in another one. Down it goes. Talapusi put it down, takes it in from 28 meters. And Talapusi looks a little bit <laughs> a little bit surprised. He made it all the way through, just slipping and sliding through the loggerhead's defense, <laughs> taking advantage of a half gap again. Noble involved in the beginning of that play and just seconds. keeping the ball moving. Loggerheads looking a little bit too complacent on defense, not wanting to make that tackle upright and up front. And so it just Going gives out. Looney's more time to make that decision, to look up and see that little half gap that they can take. And the loggerheads need to step it up, need to be more aggressive on defense. If they're not going to have possession, they need to be aggressive and turn over that ball so that they can make something out of nothing, so that they can get that possession, because right now it's all loonies. Conversion good there, and Talatella Pusi there. He, he looked a little surprised, didn't he? Absolutely. And here he goes. Setting them back up again. Possession is key. See what Talapusi can do. See if they can recover their own ball. And you'll see Loggerheads will do the one man lift here. Oof. Still maintaining possession here. Danny, high tackle. <laughs> high tackle first. High tackle. Yep. And as you get fatigued throughout the day, as you get fatigued even just in a single game, that's when the tackle, the quality of the tackle gets a little bit more, you know. <laughs> high right and and you're seeing these kind of penalties because you're under fatigue you're making poor decisions it's backwards off white it's backwards off white there's the word from cisco lopez no yeah it, for me backwards off white green throw no, no. Yeah. time's off substitution 
So again, Loggerhead's not not finding a lot of continuity yet, mm -hmm. but still getting some possession here. Slippery ball, on. but conditions are otherwise pretty fair. Line out high, taken away by the Loonies. Right into the hands of Dreswicki. 145 left here in the half. Turnovers, three, five on the loggerheads, three on the loonies. Now the loggerheads trying to make a late charge here. They got plenty of time. Still 95 seconds remain here in the match. Madden goes outside with it. Foot in the ground and charging ahead there with it is Detoy. Detoy should have gotten that ball off. It looked like the sideline. There was a wide open channel there, but they're able to swing it back the other way. And again, just things really not going the way mm -hmm. of the loggerheads. Six turnovers now on the loggerheads. That one turned over by Jeremiah Munoz. You hear the communication, big hit. You could hear that all the way up here. Heavy shot. Got a roll. Put it down. Not the the game's full of them, but something bigger than others like that. That was a big time hit. Huge hit. You heard the collective oh by the fans. <laughs> Let's make a decision now. Unfortunately, Leuta was caught not going away from the tackle, but take a look here. Just says, hey, oh. Dion, I am here. Oh. Dion had no on. chance in that hit. Matai Leuta with a jarring hit there. A couple more subs. Adams back in for the loggerheads now along with Anthony Munoz here in the final 30 seconds. Lopez has stopped the clock here for the time being. This is your line. And really, if the loggerheads want to have any chance of, of trying to tie up this game, this they've got to win this line out mm -hmm. back. Mike, we good? Hope that the Loonies yep. make some sort of error. Of course, Derek Coming Adams, you know, coming back Wine in coming really in bolsters pause. their squad. Mm -hmm. But Loonies on the other side need to be very clinical. He plays a nice, just five meter pass. Very simple, right back to the thrower to get the ball in play. It's not something you often see, but is perfectly fine and they, very they, effective. They want more here, Bree. They're not done. Up by 14. Advantage, high tackle. And there's the word from Lopez. Advantage being played for the high tackle, and there's the whistle. High tackle first. Now they could just kick this thing out and end it. You wonder if they're going to want to finish this out. Though. I think they are. What do you, Looks like. No, maybe not. Yep, there it is. A kick from DeMarty <laughs> Noble, something you don't often <laughs> <Right>. see. <laughs> but the Loonies, deservedly so, taking that win, getting third place, mm -hmm. which, as we know, helps them heading into the Austin. next stop. Yeah, in two weeks. So a 19 5 final here in the third place match here on the men's side. Yeah, Men's no. final will come up at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Experts, headliners. Women's final will close us out at 9.25 here from D.C. Would you take away in most part from this one? I think for me, it was just being able to string together a few more successful phases on attack. I think, you know, it was, it was a little bit more sloppy than we've seen throughout the day. And defense was a little bit fragmented, but... When we saw, you know, those tries from the loggerheads, they were able to go back and forth. You know, we saw the Leuta Bromball Gray try, right? Yep. It's just being able to be a little, have that chemistry and kind of build through. But look, the Loonies dominant. I think they had a lot more confidence. I was speaking with Aki Raymond this morning, and he, and he had specifically commented on this head-to-head. -head. Mm -hmm. And he said, look, we didn't start out the way we wanted to back in San Jose, but we came back and brought it to them. And I think they just felt a little bit more confident heading into this match. They did, so that'll put a bow on this one. We'll take a timeout here from Audi Field. PR7s, two matches remaining, and they're both championship matches. More to come after this.